So the other day I was browsing Twitter feeling sorry for myself when I saw some people being unusually horny for Minecraft Endermen. And naturally, I took that personally. There are tons of other mobs that deserve far more recognition and are much more suitable for a long-term relationship. But no one is talking about them because they only care about the twinks! But fear not, for I am here to educate you heretics on who will be the best Minecraft boyfriend slash girlfriend. And yes, only my opinion matters. Count what you have now. To give an idea on how each tier translates to romantic capability, F tier mobs I would rather die alone than be romantically involved with them, E tier mobs I suppose if you put a gun to my head I might agree to dating them, mobs from D to B are mobs I wouldn't mind dating with varying levels of affection, A tier mobs are already too good for someone like me but a man can dream, and S tier mobs I'm spreading my legs at the earliest opportunity. Starting things off, the most iconic mob in Minecraft, the creeper looks like a camouflaged penis, and if I've learned anything from my previous relationships, is that people usually don't appreciate it if they can't see your wiener very well. Zombies don't actually look that bad, I think they are very underrated, but unfortunately they also all look kind of the same, and they wear the same clothes, and if they're not going to put in effort into their appearance, they're probably not going to put in effort into the relationship. Every time you chase after the skeleton, it runs away, but when you start to move on, it comes crawling back. I'm tired of people trying to play hard to get, be honest, or be gone. I don't exactly fault the people on Twitter for thirsting over the Enderman because it does share many common traits with the everyday e-boy, which is really all you need to be to have stands on Twitter. But what they ultimately fail to realize is that being skinny and tall is not a personality. The Enderman is the most pointless mob in Minecraft, its sole purpose is literally just to annoy you, and if I want someone like that in my life, I would just go ahead and have children. The Snow Golem is literally Olaf from Frozen, and for that he can go to hell. The villager is pretty alright I guess. Kinda annoying though. The Iron Golem is the closest thing you can ever get to Reinhardt from Overwatch, and if you're saying you've never been at least a little bit attracted to Reinhardt, you're either lying or a lesbian, there is no other possible explanation. The pillager is kind of like the cliche guys in movies who show up unannounced at your front door trying to win you back with a guitar, but instead of a guitar he has a crossbow and he's trying to shoot you, which is usually my kind of thing, but unfortunately he is also very ugly. The ravager is a good partner for anyone who appreciates a good ramming. The evoker is just as ugly as the pillager, but he also has a mansion, and I have a fetish for rich people. Vindicators are the same except they are poor and have an axe. According to the Minecraft Gamepedia, Vexes summoned by an evoker will start taking damage after 30 to 119 seconds and will eventually die. And all I can say is that I don't want to be part of a relationship where I will be constantly jealous of my partner. The witch tries to solve every problem by drinking or throwing bottles at you, which makes for a very toxic relationship both literally and emotionally. No one should have to go through that, and you deserve a lot better. Next we have the... Alrighty. Okay, next we have the- Personally, I relate a lot to the Phantoms because everyone initially thought that they were cool so they vote for them in Minecon 2017 until they eventually realized that it has no redeeming qualities and now everyone hates them. Anyways, onto the nether mobs. The piglins only want you for your money which makes it the perfect partner for anyone who has nothing else going for them. Unfortunately, I don't have that either. I'm not sure where to put the hoglin because I've never seen one before in real life, but anyone with a healthy fear of fungi shouldn't be that bad. The first time you meet a blaze is love at first sight and you get the rods that you always wanted, but eventually, that passion will fade and you will realize that every time you're in the nether, the blaze is always there when you just want to be left alone, but never there when you need it the most. Every guest in the nether will just start screaming every time they make eye contact with me, much like women in real life, and that does not make me feel very good. 
The Strider has two moods, sad and on fire, and that is very relatable to me. People only look for Wither skeletons when they are trying to get some hit. The Wither is the Minecraft equivalent of a Siamese twin, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just not ready for that level of commitment yet. I mean, I already get nervous trying to talk to one person and you're telling me to date Tree? Absolutely not. The Shulker always puts up walls around himself, and the only time he opens up is when he's trying to get you high. And as a person living in a country where drugs are very illegal, I'm legally prohibited to say that I'm a fan of that. The Ender Dragon is a dragon 30 times the size of a normal human being, and I know a lot of people who are into that kind of stuff, but unfortunately, every time you try to get in bed with her, the bed explodes, which is an optimal strategy for speedrunning, but not quite for cuddling, and that puts it a lot lower in my books because I'm, I'm, I'm in dire need of physical affection. So yeah, this is the final tier list on who would be the best Minecraft boyfriend slash girlfriend. Does it make sense? Probably not, but love is fickle and I'm quirky like that. So yeah, uh, if you like this video, uh, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, yeah, or don't, I, I don't blame you.